Willkommen! My name is Sean Huggins, I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel. I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. And today's comment of the day comes from Zeba3420. And they say, I will wait for your food tasting video. Well, my friend, the food tasting video is already out over on my vlog channel. I tried a bunch of German snacks and candy and gave my reaction and a rating for each of them. And it was super fun, super funny. Definitely go check it out. I'll have that linked down in the description. But that video is getting kind of old. I think it might be time for a new one. If there's interest, if anybody is interested in me getting a bunch of German German groceries or candy or sweets or anything basically and you want me to make an updated video then let me know down in the comments or like I said check out my first German snack review video and leave a comment there and yeah if people are actually interested <laughs> in what I have to say about German food or snacks or whatever then I'll sure I'll do another one I love eating food so <laughs> of course I'll do another one I don't care so Seba thank you for the comment much appreciated, and let's get into today's reaction. Today we are taking a look at what 20 euros gets you in Germany. Grocery shopping from Jessica Exploring. So I have to admit, I don't do the grocery shopping in my household. I let that to Isa, my German fiance. She is a crazy person and enjoys grocery shopping apparently, and I despise everything about it. <laughs> So this should still be interesting for me, even though <laughs> I live here in Germany. I don't really know exactly what all the different prices for things are. <laughs> so let's find out together, I guess. This is what 20 euro can get you at a grocery store in Germany. For those who don't... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Run this back. Center um by Reichen. This is what 20 euro can get you at a grocery store. Center am Bayerischen Platz. I was expecting maybe an Adi or a Lidl. Or something like that, but let's see what this is all about. Store in Germany. For those that don't know, I'm living in a new country every month and showing the real side of living abroad. For oh, context, cool. 20 euro is about the same in US dollars and about $28 in Canada. I'm shopping at Aldi because it's super cheap and comes- Oh, this is Aldi. What? There's no Aldi sign on the outside here. That was my confusion. It's fine though, it's fine. We're going back in. It's in okay. about $28 no in Canada. I'm shopping at Aldi because it's super Perfect. cheap and comes highly recommended. Mm -hmm. They have everything from baked goods to meats, produce, and super cheap alcohol, wine, and beer. I like Aldi a lot because they have what I like to call the fun section. <laughs> Whenever I actually do go grocery shopping, I go directly to what I call the fun section, which is all of the stuff that isn't groceries. <laughs> it's like the home goods slash clothes slash office supplies slash tools slash <laughs> everything <laughs> in the center of the store. Oh, dude, that's the best. I like that section a lot. That's my favorite section. It's the fun section. <laughs> Okay, let's you can continue. certainly find some fresher produce, meat, and cheeses at local markets, even open air markets. But things like Aldi and other grocery stores are just a great option to get everything that you need all at once. Yeah. Plus, as a Canadian, I'm used to this style of shopping, so I tend to shop a lot quicker and cheaper here. Yeah, it is nice that all these are so small if you need to just go in and get something real quick, which is usually the case here in Germany. In general, in Germany, people have a lot smaller refrigerators and a lot smaller places to store food in their house. It seems like people go to the grocery store a lot more frequently, whereas in America, people have giant refrigerators, maybe multiple refrigerators or multiple freezers, big pantries for food, and go to these big grocery stores and buy like multiple weeks worth of food and then like freeze everything or whatever but in germany we go once a week at least sometimes more but usually just once a week i'm sure there's a lot of people in germany that go even more than that maybe even almost every day so having these smaller stores is a lot faster and more convenient so that's pretty cool if you are planning on visiting germany for a period of time it's super important to note that everything is closed on sundays and that does include grocery stores so you definitely want to visit on a day that's not that. But not Derner. When all hope is lost, bet on Derner. <laughs> I love Derner. Okay, now let's see how far my 20 can take me here. First, okay. English muffins for 119. They're super fresh too. Ooh. Then you have to grab something from the snack aisle. I went with the American cookies for 119. Oh, 
American style cookies. Those are solid. Those aren't my favorite American style cookies. My favorite American style cookies are the Oreos, which are in a lot of places here in Germany that I've been seeing. So that's pretty cool to see actually. But I do like this style as well. Let's continue. This aisle is almost magic after being in France where a lot of things are less processed. Sometimes you just need some cookies, chips, and candy. Next is dinner, yeah. which is a chicken schnitzel. There's three pieces in here for $5.69. $5.69 for that is, that seems like a pretty good price, I think, for chicken. I feel like meat is usually one of the more expensive expensive everyday items that people get in grocery stores whether it's in germany or america obviously if you're getting chicken it's a lot more affordable than like steak but still pretty good price i feel like the selection isn't huge but they definitely have a variety of meats to choose from yeah. coming on a saturday like i did just isn't the best because everything is completely closed on sundays oh, wow. so the selection is quite limited yeah and that's kind of the only downside probably of the smaller stores like aldi is that like if you go to one of these giant grocery stores stores like there are in America, then they have like every kind of meat you could ever want, <laughs> every kind of fruit or vegetable you could ever want. Everything is in stock because it's just like, it, there's just everything you could possibly imagine in one single place. So if you know exactly what you want and you just go in there and you're like, I'm going to be in and out efficiently, the little stores are great. But if you're like, oh crap, I need to get some crazy ingredients for something, some sort of recipe, maybe they don't have it. Maybe they do. I don't know. Bam, you can go to the big store and you're like, oh, they definitely have it because they have everything, you know? And actually, I've been to a really big grocery store here in Germany. It's called Kaufland. I don't know if it's a regional thing or if it's in all of Germany. No idea. But it was like the American style giant grocery store or whatever you want to call it. So there are still these big places to go in Germany if you want that option. And in America, we have a lot of these smaller options. Like we have a lot of Aldi's, for example, in America. So even in America, you can go to these little options too. It's just the big options are more common. But I like that both countries have both options. It's the best of both worlds. Everybody coming together in peace and harmony to live happily ever after. Anyways, sorry, it's really late and I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm acting weird. Let's continue. Next is a pasta restock for 99 cents and of course Ooh. some sauce for 159. I find that the selection of cheese and deli meats is quite massive here, but I always go with this one. The price yep. isn't bad. It's 439 for the whole block. Yeah, the cheese and deli meats in Germany is a very good selection. I feel like from what I've seen, Germany really likes their deli meats and cheeses. You guys eat deli meats and cheeses for breakfast, which is not something that I was used to before coming to Germany. But now I actually just had deli meats and cheeses and marmalade and butter and all this stuff on <laughs> bread for my breakfast today. And it was really good. That's something that is not very common in America though, at least not for breakfast. But in Germany, apparently very common. And also very tasty. Isn't bad. It's four thirty nine for the whole block. Next, I just grabbed a container of grapes for snacking for two forty nine. One Pretty last good. treat. I've been eyeing this chocolate milk for weeks, and it's one fifty nine. Dude, that's a big chalky milk. Yo, why have I never seen that one before? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all the chocolate at the bottom. Oh man, dude. I know that that chocolate milk is good. I'm gonna tell Issa to get me some next time. Yep. Yep, putting that on my shopping list. That looks like some good chocolate milk. <laughs> Cashing out is definitely a different experience here. The cashiers are crazy quick, so you have to bring all of your items over to the separate area yep. to bag so you don't get in the way of others. Fastest scanners in the world. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Dude, the Aldi scanners are whew, lightning fast. Always gives me anxiety when I'm checking out. <laughs> but I'm getting pretty good at packing my groceries. Like I'm getting a lot better, so <laughs> improvements. And here's the haul. This 20 euro got me twice as far as it did in France. Whoa, Stay tuned to see how it nice. compares to a grocery shop in Croatia when I'm there in a few weeks. If you wanna follow along with me to other countries, be sure to like and subscribe. So for 20 euros, she got chicken, pasta, some fruit, some snacks, some drinks, some cheese. She got like pretty much all you need for multiple meals for 20 euros. I think that's pretty good. It's hard to say if this compares to prices in America because the prices in America depend so much on where you live in America, but you can definitely get groceries around this price in most places in America, but obviously like different 
brands and different kinds of food. Like we definitely wouldn't have chicken schnitzel, at least not in most places. But yeah, I mean, where I came from in America, it's pretty similar in pricing and it's not so bad actually. Definitely pretty affordable if you know where to save a couple bucks here and there. And <laughs> that's pretty good when it comes to food. But I want to leave it up to the experts. That's you guys as the resident Germans and Europeans here. How does this shopping hall compare to your experiences? Would you say that buying this stuff for 20 euros is, would you say that the groceries are too expensive here or what? I'm curious what you guys have to say about it. At any rate though, that's all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Check the links in the description for all of my other social media, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.